Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I'm going to jump in as Samuel, Samuel, whatever you call him, just because I want to play this guy. He's fun. I realise I haven't played the Tainted Guy all on the series. I haven't got a thumbnail for him, I'll be honest, so I've just kind of not done it. <laughs> I'll get round to it at some point, don't worry. Um, but anyways, the base version of him is very fun regardless. I have more of my Pineapple Passion drink and I'm very excited about it. Very excited indeed. I also just, I went to co-op to buy it, which is a shop near me. Uh, we've got XL along with another curse. I'm not sure why we have two, um, but we do. Um, but I also was like looking for something for tea because my girlfriend's not going to be in for tea today. And I found a nice little chicken vindaloo, which I'm excited to try. Honestly, curry is like, I feel like it's one of the, one of the only meals where like, it's kind of rare to find a really bad ready meal version. Like, ready meals in general have just gotten a heck ton better in the past few years. Um, they used to be, like, pretty darn awful across the board. Uh, but, like, with, the, like, the finest ranges coming out and all those sort of things... Oh, I'm doing bad right now. Um, all those sort of things coming out, um, the, uh, like, sort of the... the higher brand i don't know exactly what's called like, they're like the home brands but they're sort of more up class <laughs> and the slightly higher quality ones so those ones are mostly pretty decent nowadays but i feel like curry has always been one of those things where I'm, I'm really just not a big ready meal eater anyways like obviously as a lot of you know i really enjoy cooking so i really prefer not to eat ready meals but sometimes you just can't be bothered and so i've had ready meals here and there but curries are always the one that i feel like it, you don't really get many bad ones and i'm sure people out there will be um, proving me wrong with some of their uh, experiences. Um, but for me, uh, curry's normally a pretty good go-to, and I've not tried co-ops before, so I'm going to give them a go and see how they are. By the way, I think one of the reasons that I'm kind of doing so poorly right now is just that Fiend Folio Burning Basement just does not lend itself very well to um, to a character that's melee only. Everything that you get near spews fire. <laughs> And I'm just constantly walking into various forms of fire or um, killing enemies that explode because I refuse to use long range unless I absolutely have to. Which is a hang up of my own, I realise, but I will never let it go. Oh, kind of unfortunate. Really not a great item. I'll take it. At the minute, of course, we are on the lookout for the missing poster to try and unlock the lost. I can't exactly remember how to unlock it. I'm I'm pretty sure you just get the missing poster and then die to a sacrifice room, right? I, I'm going to hope that's what it is because that's what I think it is. But I, I genuinely don't remember. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely can't remember if that's the case or not. So I'm a little bit scared to, uh, to do that, I'll be honest, because I could end up... Um, losing a run for zero reason and getting no unlock, which would be quite sad. Vasculitis, honestly not terrible, um, especially when enemies are grouped up. I know it's a little bit distracting to have enemies uh, fire shots out of them when they die that are the same colour that the enemies also fire when they shoot, but I, I, I think the item's okay. Anyways, let's keep moving along. I think Secret Room's just below here. Um, I think it's here. I'm going to test that out. Let's test that theory. Huzzah, huzzah. Oh, and we get a, a spicy little burn heart, which I quite enjoy. I, I was just about to say, I feel like this char character is quite fitting of burn hearts, but then I realise it's just because he's like the Forgotten, which the Forgotten is based on this character, so... Or loosely based on this character. I'm not going to say definitely, but it, it at least seems like inspiration for the Forgotten was taken from this character, because this character actually came out before the Forgotten, for those of you that don't know that. Um... He was one of the first big custom characters that, that came about as part of Afterbirth uh, plus custom characters modding. Um, and at that point, uh, the Forgotten didn't exist. The Forgotten came in Afterbirth, but as a booster pack, and I can't remember if it was the last one or the one before last, um, as essentially Kilburn's trial. Uh, Kilburn, who is the main developer behind Repentance, um, of course, the cr one of the creators of Anti-Birth that became Repentance, he... Um, he basically joined in Afterbirth Plus to work on some of the booster packs and um, they were kind of his like trial run from by Edmonds to see what he could do and how well he could do it and the Forgotten was kind of his baby I think. I'm gonna leave that on the floor for now so I don't lose it. Um, make sure to actually pick it up though. 
Um, yeah, and he obviously proved himself very, very worthy and created an incredibly good character that had an enormous amount of depth. Little bit of a sad item to get as a golden one, I'll be honest, but it at least makes me a little more likely to go into this devil deal here. And a moral heart on use. I've never actually used this before, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, like, why not? And let's, uh, let's grab this here. Lovely, lovely. And we can... Actually, well, let's go down to the downpour. Why not? Why the hell not? As for the question of the day, what was your most recent meal and how was it? I don't know if this will work with this character, but it's an item I, I reasonably like, so I'm going to take it anyways. I just hope that it does. It might just be that it only works on throws, which would be slightly sad, but I'm going to hope that it has some potential interaction. I think it will, but I, I can't be sure. Okay, it does work. Good. Oh! I'll be honest, did not realize those enemies could fire diagonally. In fact, this is kind of sick. Um, yeah, this is this is really good. We're able to stack the um, the armor down, whatever you want to call it, quite quickly. If I remember correctly, basically that's just like a an increase in the amount of damage they take. So for every stack of that, the enemy takes a little bit more damage. I might be wrong about that, so please do feel free to correct me. Um... This is good because this is a passive. Um, the Bible will probably grab so we can get Bookworm. You, um, uses adds items related to Mum, Dad, or Guppy for the room. Interesting. Turns enemies in the room into champions. And yeah. Nice. But yeah, well, uh, if we get another key, uh, well, another two keys, I should say, because I want to do my item room as well. Um, we should really try and grab Bookworm, because Bookworm is useful as this guy, actually. Uh, it does give us the double scythe, but yeah, also I didn't speak about the fact that we got another burn heart, luckily, which is rather nice. But yeah, I like the fact that there's like three or four different passive items that are books now. It makes libraries a little bit more interesting and worthwhile, um, and I, I really, really enjoy that. Because most of the time, libraries are like, like, they're really good if they give you one of the really good books, but otherwise you're like, I don't really want to trade my active, or you pick up one of the books and the rest of the stuff goes to waste. It's kind of like, uh, sad times, big oof. Um... It's good to have situations where that doesn't happen. One, two, three. This is a five-room charge, I just realised. I'm pretty sure this is a five-room charge. That's, that's, that's peculiar. I don't know how to feel about that. But yeah, it's a pretty good chance to stack this armour effect. When, and I think, yeah, it just takes more damage. I'm not sure exactly if it is that. It might just be that it, like, reduces their boss armor or something. I might be incredibly incorrect about this. I probably could have done to just read the item a bit more closely, to be honest. Um, it's decent. And Devil Deal, we are locked in. The nail's real good. The nail is real good. But I'll stick with this because it's new and it's quality 4, which makes me feel like I'm obligated to stick with it. Uh, we did get another key, uh, but that's for our item room thus far. I think item room is be potentially better than Bookworm. Not guaranteed to be, to be honest. That's a fucking shop, you dullard. Ugh. <laughs> God damn it. That's a fucking shop. You idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, let's take Chaos, because Chaos is a lot of fun. What the fuck is epidermolysis? Epidermolysis? What the heck? I have literally no idea what that is. Uh We already went in here. What did we get from there? Was it rubber bullets? Might be rubber bullets. Maybe I am just dumb. Maybe it's Maybelline. Right, anyways. Let's lock and load. Grab the Bible. We could could we have used Malak Mot? I can't remember if Malak Mot gives flight. Guppy's eye. Kind of interested to see what this does. Book of Genesis. Nice. Right. We out. Book of Genesis is the one where you take double damage, but it gives you a full blackout one, three, four rooms or three rooms. Pretty good, especially when we can use it without having to hold it. 
Why is one of my pips not fully charged? That's weird. That's some funky shenanigans. Um... Nah, I'm just gonna leave. I was gonna, I was gonna maybe do the extra floor, but I'll just leave. I'm happy with what I got. Ugh. A lovely, lovely run as a scythe boy. I do enjoy. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got some good things going on. I think the, the rubber bullets is definitely a big bonus. I think our active is pretty darn good, especially with it being a, a five room charge. Helps it to be a little more pertinent. And the moral hearts are pretty useful too, um, or at least can be, I, apart from when you get hit immediately like that, like a dullard. That's just me. Gotta to remember to pick him back up though, that's, that's, that's my main problem, what my main problem is gonna be. Oh, this room's gonna be annoying. Okay, it wasn't actually so bad. Wait, what? The room's not over. Oh, there's a little brainlet chilling down there that I did not see. How did you slip by my vision, you slippery bastard? This is definitely a room I want to use Malak Mott on, because these enemies suck. I'm really interested to see what Chaos brings forward. I really enjoy Chaos runs generally anyways, but modded Chaos runs are just an absolute blast. There's some really crazy stuff that can go, that can go on, especially with some of the potential Devil and Angel items that can show up. As well as obviously secret room items too. It is perfection. What, I can't remember the name of the item. I think it's one for, that we haven't unlocked yet because I just haven't seen it in a long time. But Lawful, I think, I think is the name of it. That, that, that makes one item pool, the item pool for the entire floor. Oh, fantastic item. And I feel like we've gotten it early enough for it to be pretty good too, which is moochier, so nicer, so. Right, uh, drop that there real quick. Do we want to go all the way back up that floor? There's, there's like potential of a lot of stuff over there, but I don't know. We're right next to the boss right now. Annoying boss. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. He, he, he didn't, I'm going to say, he didn't grow a big straight away though, which is weird. He's still the small version of himself. That is a terrible hit by me. Oh my god. And we get the Sinner's Prayer. Extra damage, 25% chance to survive a fatal blow. Skills of 50%, uh, up to 50% at 7 luck. Chance to smite enemies that damage you, guaranteed if you survive a fatal blow. Pretty interesting, especially that damage up is rather nice for now. I'm happy. Realistically, I should be checking the shop every time, regardless of my amount of money, because if I want to bomb my donation machine to get a really, really good item, I suppose I should. Because it might, you never know what's going to be in the shop, do you? It could be something truly amazing. Go, um, Fuzzy Pickle. Grants damage up for each reference item, trink, item slash trinket the player has. Active items grant extra damage up. Loose um, references only grant half. Loose references only grant half, depending on the, kind of an interesting idea. Um, this item has a reference to Earthbound. What item? No idea. But that's a really, really cool idea for a trinket, though. I imagine it only supports Fiend Folia and Vanilla items. That would be kind of crazy if it supported all the others. Um, still, though, there's a lot of references in this game, so I can imagine this trinket being incredibly beneficial, especially if it works on item references to Edmund's other games. Like, if little gish counts and stuff like that, then it could kind of be ludicrous, because there's a lot of that in this game. I mean, this game is like almost entirely references. Imagine if it was like in Enter the Gungeon. I mean, boy. Enter the Gungeon is literally almost exclusively references. So, <laughs> that game, it would be, it would be kind of nutty. But, I like the idea of it though, even in Enter the Gungeon, I think it could be fun. It's an idea that could definitely be explored. Ooh. Ooh, you spread a bit of fire, you spread a bit of fire, gotta love it. Thank you for picking up that key. Haven't had many range ups, unfortunately, which 
uh, a tribute to our size of our scythe in this regard here. So I would like more of those. Double bomb for that door. Sackhead, rather nice. I guess I will double bomb for the door, to be honest. Why not? My character's looking pretty lovely. Sack on the head, horn sticking through. Unfortunately, this was a little bit of a waste of time because we uh, we don't have a, an extra bomb and it's a dirty carpet as well, which I think have a pretty redu heavily reduced chance to be a crawl space and end up just being a, a trap door down to the next floor. Oh God, kill these enemies quick. I hate them. Good, good. And we got one more ghosty boy. We're kind of speeding along here, to be honest. We're uh, we're trucking through at a reasonable rate. Beautiful. I think we got a sack there as well that I didn't quite actually see. Two bombs back already. Oh, these enemies are so annoying. And there's a large one in the middle as well. They're not that hard as with a character like this, but in general, it's just so many spiders to deal with. It's like, come on now. We are on depths one, so we can just do this straight away. Ooh, a boss I haven't seen in a while that I really enjoy. I don't think we're going to get to see much of him, to be honest. Because I think we're going to kill him reasonably quickly here, but... Really, really fun boss. We are going to get to see one of his cool attacks. Hehehe, <laughs> I love him. Probably my favourite Fiendfolio boss, design and attacks-wise. He gets, he gets more interesting the longer the fight goes on. Shining Clicker, not very good for us, but okay to have. Lump of Coal would be preferred. Unfortunately, we do not get so lucky in this regard, and Cramperino's head will be left as it is. Shop is definitely something we want to go to here, so let's not, let's not be too hasty. Let's not be too hasty. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Ooh, okay, at least we got a lot of the health back there. We made some errors, we made some mistakes, but the game... The game repented for the sins of, us, of ourselves. Okay, these were sins that I cannot... I could not make up for the... Oh my god, so many hearts. Wow. Okay. This is probably a situation in which we want to do some throwing, because there's a lot of explodey boys. Yeah, okay. The room kind of handled itself there. And I'm glad for it. Okay. Orphan socks? Oh, no, that's not orphan socks. Damn. Um... I think we'll take this, the dice bag. I will go for a full run reroll if the game gives me the opportunity. Um, most certainly. And I might as well take this if I'm going to do a full run reroll because it's much more items to reroll. But this item's got some. I don't know why a card against humanity proc there, but I'm incredibly happy it did. Um, this is amazing. I'm also going to bomb through here as well. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, like, this run's, like, interesting enough and good enough, but you can always get more interesting and more gooder. Now, one thing that I ought to do, though, I think... Oh, my God. Cardi's Money is the best. The best card in the game, in my opinion. It's so good. Luck pennies, HP, soul hearts, other shit, other shit, and other shit. It's just, there's just so much good shit to go at. Uh, right, um, let's do some more donating here, because we've got a lot of money to go at. Just, you can get so much stuff from it. Beautiful. The nursing machine's getting up there now. We're very, very close to maximum. Grab that. We'll be on our way. Right. Um, yeah, basically what I think we do is, if we find like a, a, a D, um, D100 
from our dice bag. We don't use it straight away. We wait until we get another one so that we have two rerolls in the bag in case our first one goes really bad sort of thing. In case we come out looking kind of fugly. Then we've got like a backup reserve just in case. Which is, is, is definitely a dubious idea because we are in a good situation right now. Like the run is pretty good. But this character just has so much potential for like bespoke synergies and stuff that I kind of want to seek them out. And therefore, I will. It won't be long until we get a D4 or D100 though. It won't be long at all. Rubber Cement? I don't think Rubber Cement does anything for us unless we throw. Which is a shame. Certainly would like some more speed. We also have our Dice Shard here as well, which I'm not quite sure where, that, where I lie with that at the moment. I just really don't need it right now. Wooden Cross. Potentially pretty good. Give me that missing poster though, game. You know you want to. You know you want to. I think Malik Mott was a good choice there to clear out the debris. Okay. Go this way first. Another library. Surprise, surprise, surprise. The D6 is not what I would have expected, but I quite like. Blank card and an actual book. Yeah, the D6, certainly not the sort of thing I would have expected to find in there. I mean, I know we do have uh, Chaos, so it's certainly plausible, but still. Okay. Shop, what do you hold for me? Damn it. If you give me Midas Touch, I'm re-rolling it. Damn it, he didn't even give me Midas Touch, although we do get some charges there, which I'm very grateful for. Let's go back and re-roll our uh, books again. That is 2020. Okay, starting to feel like we might not want to re-roll off of this run. Also, Randy the Snail. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like we might not want to re-roll off of this run, because it's... It's certainly stepped up a level now. It's certainly becomes something else, and we have the dual scythe action, which is really fucking cool looking on this character. Heckin' the goddamn beautiful. Why'd I press the button? Foolish damn bit. Right, it's Mum. And we got this with Bookworm as well, so we're going to be firing extra sights every now and again. Is this just Blue Mum? I think it is, isn't it? I never really remember what Blue Mum does. Blue Mum is just less feet and more spawns, right? And then we can take Dark Path here, I guess. Boss Rush is already done. We don't have to do Boss Rush. Ooh, shit. There's a lot going on here. I think I'll take that. Which I very much like. Fry's Paw. I think the other ones can stay as they are. Dead Cat. Disciples Eye. Mystery Egg. And Red Cat. Lots of something wicked things there, but I'm just going to leave them for now. I think we're good to go. Don't think we have any need for any of those. 
It would just kind of artificially lengthen the run. Please tell me Wrath works. If Wrath doesn't work, I am going to throw someone out of a window. And that person is me. Wrath doesn't work. I just paid a red heart and gave myself three broken hearts for exactly zero reward. Truly despicable. I will be reporting this to the authorities at my earliest convenience. Now, just due to this blunder, I might have to re-roll myself. Although it probably won't re-roll me out of my broken hearts. I just, I doubt that's how that works. What If I throw, I bet it works. Yeah, if I throw, it works. Although, to be fair, that was pretty sick. Throwing might be the way to go. With rubber cement and everything we got going on here, throwing might actually be a genuine way forward right now, which is something that I find myself saying very, very few times when it comes to uh, melee-based characters, because I, I, I prefer to play melee, but honestly, we've kind of got okay -ish fire rate. I think we can do it. I wish we had Spectral, though. Not having Spectral is kind of bumming me out. But it makes Wrath work. Which I feel is, like, necessary for me to enjoy myself. Oh, this run is gross. I know it's not actually that hard to solve, but if there's a run like that that's a dead end, you can bet your bottom dollar that I ain't gonna be asked to complete it. Yeah, this is working pretty well, and we're getting quite a lot of Wrath procs as well. Not quite as many as our previous run where we had Wrath, and it was going absolutely mental. Ow. Really need to protect my health a little bit better. I'm not doing a very good job of staying on high HP. That's a, a D6, I should probably pick that up. I don't know why they fade out of existence every frame or two, but probably something that I downloaded incorrectly. Grab that real quick. Just punted that bomb out of my way. Okay, tried to use Malik Mott there to get some shit done. Mostly worthless. Not sure what that noise was. Okay. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through this. When it's like a lot of enemies, I think throwing works. When it's single enemies, it just it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like, getting in there with Malik Mott, so much more valuable. We'll take fire it. It might make throwing, it makes throwing a lot better. Okay, I'm happy with that. It makes throwing a lot more enjoyable, indeed. What do these machines do again? Trinket, pill, one of these bad boys. Shot speed, I don't think matters for us. Whoopsie. <laughs> Just demolished both of those guys. Contraband, I'm going to reroll into Sissy, hell yes. Look down, great. Oh my god. They really didn't want me to use that machine anymore, did they? Kept trying to destroy itself. I'm 
try this out. Don't pick up the key. I just remembered that. We've got 15 keys. We have absolutely zero reason to pick up a key again for the entire run. So let's try and not, because otherwise that'll destroy our trinket. I love the noise of all the wrath shots just going wild. It's beautiful. It is a symphony of death. Still haven't actually got a D100 or anything yet, even if I wanted to reroll. Which I'm certainly thinking about, I'll be honest. I'm like, on the verge. This run is pretty fun, but you never know what a reroll could hold. Okay, beautiful. Oh, Malak Mott there. Perfect usage. Ow. Lost my burn heart there. Come on, D100 or whatever. Bring yourself untowards me. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much right now. Excuse me, little fella? What's going on with you? Yeah, don't know why I couldn't kill you there. Bit rude. No key, thanks. Ow! Okay, good. Drop you down, the Malak Mot. Holy sugar tits, that damage is insane. Urkily, Durkily. Would I pay a heart for a pet rock? Yes, I would. Um, We're going dark path, right? Yes, we are. I threw it all away for a pet rock. Oh, you literally can't bomb these guys. Did not know that. Did not know that. That is very interesting. Still? Still no D100 or D4. It's not good. Things are looking a bit too spicy for the pepper here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I may have biffed this pretty hard. Picked up a lot of keys there by accident and didn't really think about my consequences. Luckily, I did not destroy my trinket. God damn it. I'm gonna die, people. I bought Mother's Spine and it's come to haunt me. Nope, not Mother's Spine. Sorry, Pet Rock. Hello, good sir. You seem awfully snug in there. Don't like the idea of whatever enemy is chasing me here. Okay, okay, okay. It's all fine. All we need is a potential reroll or an influx of an amazing amount of health. Soul heart there. Also pet, uh, permanent cactus friend. Certainly a welcome addition to the family. Check for black hearts. Not a black heart at all. Get ready to Malak Mot here. Okay, no, we're good.
Gamble. Don't know what this does for us, but I'm hoping it does something interesting. Walked right into that guy. Heck, this is not going well. I don't have flight. Oh god. This is a Malik Mott situation if I've ever, ever seen one. I'm gonna end up getting telefragged otherwise. Come on, game. Give me what I need. It's a glass D20 game. What are you doing? Right. Let's gamble on this. Three, two, and... Damn it. A little bit early. I reckon we can kill this first phase without using our active. That we can. And the second phase, we use the active immediately to annihilate him. Yes, it worked. Reaper bum. Nice. Head on down. Anything that gives me HP here would be very welcome. Sadly, we didn't get any of that. Spawns three cracked keys. Reroll. That's so fucking evil, I hate it. It's a golden version of something that will spawn the hearts on the floor. Which is just, just evil. I mean, this we can just take without dying. I hate this so much. Actually, F you. That would literally put us up to, like, full HP. It would, it would give us, like, eight, eight to twelve hearts. And we can't pick it up because we'll die. Although... Can I... Can I... Pick it up and then it drops the hearts and then pick them up while I'm still in the pickup animation? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. But I'm gonna have to say no to it and gamble. Wow, another golden item. Still don't know what rotting, rot, rotting humble, humbling bundle even does, to be honest. Plus three black hearts. Okay. Now we can grab this. Okay, didn't actually give us a bunch. It did, it, 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 even though it was gold, it didn't give us double. But, we did something. Oh my god, this game. This game's just like, hey, you wanna I heard you want to live. Also, how can we fire wrath shots there? What happened? It's like, I heard you want to live, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook you up there. I need to stop losing health, though, because at the minute I'm losing a lot. In fact, one minute. Don't know what either of those are. I got my shadow at some point, apparently. Technology book. Pretty cool. Little heretic. Strange apple. Whoa, what the fuck? 
That is a strange apple. I was like, how can we have ludicrously high luck right now? And then I realized that we've got a Chimera. Which gives you ludicrously high luck. Over the course of a run. Not a big fan of the snake item. The graphics on the snake thing are uh, kind of off-putting. They don't fit. And I get that's kind of the point, but I don't like it. To be fair, I haven't actually seen what the item does yet, so... I can't really judge it too harshly yet. Taking so much dumb damage here, it's kind of ludicrous. Milk a bath make it HP at least. Sadly doesn't do anything for us on this floor, I don't think. Cool. I was about to say, this has to be the boss. Luckily it is. Thanks for those options, a little bit late, but... Now look how much stacking of that armor debuff we're putting on him. There you go. Easy bangers. Slice his head clean off. Spirit of Anger. Beautiful. Oh, we can do a... Have we done this? We have not done this. Let's go. Why not? Why the hell not? Unfortunately, I have had absolutely abysmal luck recently when it comes to um, finding Delirium. So we'll see how we do this time around. But yeah, my luck in finding the boss has been real shitty. It's been always like the very last boss I find, which most of the time is fine because you want extra items. But every time I want to find him quickly, it's like, no, not a chance, Budski. Hoping for the best. A lot of champions. Ow, that was an explosive champion. Didn't really consider that fact when I got very up close in his face. Oh my god. I might die here, but honestly, we've, we've done enough for me to be pretty happy. fella. Probably should play this guy out. Get a bunch of extra items, wisps, and potentially a planetarium item too. Snake, can you go away with your weird graphics, please? Kind of messing up the vibe here. It's going to take a little while to play this guy. Ooh, I have some sort of charge. Ooh, shit, okay. I think that's, um... Aquarius? Soul heart there, lovely. 
But it's certainly going to take some time. Blank rune. Don't really care for. Look at that fire rate, that's insane. I shouldn't even money for anything else, so why not play the hell out of this guy and get some HP and other goodies? Plus 50%, plus 5-0 fire rate, okay. That's a 50% then, it's not 50%. Nearly done. That's what we're looking for, more soul hearts. Our health was really low, so this is giving us a chance. Look at how many fucking wisps we've got as well. So good. Four more. This guy takes very little to get a payout as well, which is nice. And last one. Anzus, I would be very pleased to use. Thank you. Right. Thank you, my good lad. No full payout, but still. Aww. Oh. Ugh. One of our items is Taurus. That's gross. <laughs> that is extremely unfortunate and fully gross. Taurus, when you have a fun build... Is so horrible. It's not even like I can walk into him because I'll waste my wisps if I do that. Gotta sit and do nothing for a little bit. And then insta kill. Just so silly. Don't want Taurus. Uh, Cricket's body? Hell yeah. See if either one of these are our boss. Actual flight here now. By the way, my shadow with the invincibility, my shadow with Taurus, I will say, pretty heckin' good. Use mascara. Pretty big uh, thingy. Um, fire rate down, but our damage is way up. Right. Unfortunately, we didn't go the right way at all here. Uh, so let's have a little assess. It's probably the one all the way at the right. I like having flight here for this. Walk into everything and straight to the next room. It's working pretty well, actually. Or at least say that. And also my wisps. I think, are my wisps invincible while I'm in Taurus? Maybe they are. Maybe this is actually kind of great. Okay, we found her, yeah. Right, get my shadow proccing as much as we can. Holy shit. My, whatever's like shooting shots off is triggering wrath like crazy. And I like it. It's going absolutely wild right now. What the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's quite beautiful. My god, the swarm. And while it's in this mode as well, no boss armor, so a lot of damage going out. Mm. Okay, Wrath is going nuts. There you go. Easy kill. Amazing. Beautiful kill. 
Don't know what we'll unlock here. Malik Mott, nice. Okay. Okay, I'm happy. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.